cycle route um, from town to Shirley around the back way police station is it a dead end? <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to drop a gear. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Pedaling out of the saddle. Come on. Millbrook Red Bridge. <sighs> so, yeah, there's a little back way to Red Bridge. From town to the train station. Oh, this bit is nice and quiet now. It's a nice tarmac. I was gonna live in one of these houses at one point. I think it was that one. They wanted like £550 for a one bedroom to rent it. That was about 10 years ago. I never did rent it in the end. This bollard wasn't here before. They made it all into a cycle lane now. The cars can't drive down now here. Yeah. It's one way in or out. should take us uh, all the way to Redbridge. It's like a cycle route. So I don't know if anyone's actually filmed this. This bit's really nice. There's hardly any traffic. There's no potholes. And there's a type of tarmac that's uh, compacted together. It's not the rough tarmac. So this takes us into a dead end but there's a cycle route that'll take us out on a dual carriageway that most people are aware of and familiar familiar with old building. Yeah, I did this the other day. It's the second time I've done it. So we go down here. I think we're just on the outside of Fremantle. So uh, that's Fremantle up there. But we're going left along towards Redbridge. You get into a tucked aero position on the bike and you can just coast a bit. Someone's got one of those electric scooters. 
awesome. <laughs> I'll fold that bike. I don't think it was a Brompton. We love a Brompton, they're a thousand pounds. Ah, oh, the wind's off my back. It's nice and easy. He's got one of those cube bikes. Now, this gets a bit, little bit narrow, so you've got to be careful of oncoming cyclists. This is a proper cycle lane. See the uh, docks across to my left. Probably just see it. There we are. And the railway there. But this is a nice straight route all the way down to the bottom. Not seen another Doors Galaxy today. Just to go show how rare these bikes are becoming. We're halfway there. This road's really busy, it's the uh, main route out of Southampton. It just takes you out onto the freeway or the motorway. It's quarter past four. Some people are clocking off early. Alright, we need to follow the route round. It turns left here. check behind because there's a obstacle always look left and right on these might be a cycle crossing but I think there has been an accident along here recently not with a push bike but a motorbike because this cycle lane is uh, newly put in because you used to be able to drive both ways on the car now it's all one way so I mean, what I would have done is probably made the pavement into a shared cycle lane with pedestrians, but they decided to do this, which is nice. But I don't know if enough cyclists use this lane to justify it. There's the park. It's always a funny smell along here. It's like sewage. I know nothing's behind me, but I just make a habit to check over my shoulder before I cross the road. go outdoors you can buy uh, camping stuff and bike stuff I haven't been in there for a little while always try and say wave thank you to people who stop for me I know they've got to wait another second Coming 
out to the Melbrook roundabout We're on the home stretch you always wonder if they see you if in doubt get off and walk it Starting to get tired now. Right, check both ways. Claude Butler. Ways to go home is up through McDonald's. <laughs> 